In recent years, the internationalization of the RMB has indeed made considerable progress. Many countries have begun to increase the scale of RMB foreign exchange reserves, showing their intention to use RMB for settlement. And in this case, a country chooses to completely move to the RMB and abandon the reserves of dollars, euros and yen. Do you know which country? At the beginning of 2023, Russia announced sensational news that shocked the world. They said that in the future Russia's sovereign wealth fund will only buy RMB, not dollars, euros and the like. The reason why Russia chooses the RMB is because the RMB exchange rate is relatively stable. At the same time, the investability and international influence of the RMB are increasing day by day. What is the role of foreign exchange reserves? It should be noted that no country dares to fully convert its foreign exchange reserves into a country's currency, and stabilizing foreign exchange reserves is an important prerequisite for maintaining a country's stable economic development. This needs to be balanced by the quantity of currency and the type of currency. But now, why does Russia choose the RMB at all? First of all, Russia is under too much external pressure. Due to the conflict between Russia and Ukraine, Russia is subject to many international sanctions. Most of the US dollars, euros, and yen they had previously reserved could not be used. In this context, Russia chose to empty these currencies, which is naturally in Russia's national interest. In the global foreign exchange reserves, the US dollar, the euro, the British pound, the Japanese yen and the Chinese yuan are the five most important currencies. Central banks in all five countries use them. Isn't Russia afraid that China will freeze its RMB assets like the United States? Of course, they are not afraid. From the perspective of international credibility, China has always been a moral model. Furthermore, China and Russia currently maintain a very good cooperative relationship, and Russia is very relieved of China. In fact, Russia does not need to worry about China's freezing of Russian RMB assets. Because once China does it, the development of RMB internationalization will come to a halt in the future. China itself will naturally not freeze the assets of other countries for no reason. After Russia is fully inclined to the yuan, it will be of great benefit to both countries. After Russia's foreign exchange is converted into RMB, it will inevitably use RMB for settlement in international trade. Therefore, in the future, Russia will definitely increase trade cooperation with China.